नंबर वन वाइटामिन डी फॉर गुड बॉन्ड हेल्थ नंबर टू वट इज वाइटामिन डी ऑल अबाउट नंबर थ्री हाउ डिड वी लर्न अबाउट वाइटामिन डी एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस नंबर फोर वाई इज देयर अ न्यू फोकस ऑन वाइटामिन डी टूडे नंबर फाइव हाउ मच वाइटामिन डी डू वी नीड नंबर सिक्स वट आर आर फोर सोर्सेज ऑफ वाइटामिन डी नंबर सेवन हाउ कैन वी ओवर डू वाइटामिन डी नंबर एट हाउ डू डॉक्टर टेस्ट वाइटामिन डी लेवल्स वाइटामिन डी फॉर गुड बॉन्ड हेल्थ Vitamin D is necessary for strong bones and muscles. Without vitamin D, our bodies cannot effectively absorb calcium, which is essential to good bone health. Children who lack vitamin D develop a condition called rickets, which causes bone weakness, bowed legs, and other skeletal deformities such as stoop posture. Today doctors are seeing an increase in the number of children with rickets. This article focuses the reasons for the increase and think parents can do to improve their children bone health as well as their own. What is vitamin D all about? Vitamin D is really not a vitamin. Vitamins are special nutrients that our body needs but cannot make. so they must be obtained from what we eat or by supplements because our bodies can make vitamin d in our skin when it's exposed to good sunlight vitamin d is considered a hormone how did we learn about vitamin d and its importance When our ancestors stopped working in the fields and entered factories or schools, rickets began to be a problem. In fact, it was commonly seen during winter months, especially in northern locations. In about 1920, people noticed that children who took cod liver oil rarely got rickets. This led to the discovery of vitamin D and the beginning of vitamin D supplementation of the diet. Why is there a new focus on vitamin D today? Recent research has stressed the importance of vitamin D not just for good bone health but also for possibly preventing chronic disease when we are older. It has been linked to brain and heart health, obesity, mood and more recently COVID-19. Yet many children today are not getting enough vitamin D. There are several reasons children today do not get enough vitamin D. An important one is that very few foods contain substantial levels of the vitamin. Even the healthiest of the diets will probably not provide a child with adequate vitamin D. As a result, current recommendations are for children to take a vitamin D supplement. Changes in lifestyle have also played a part. Several aspects of modern day childhood impact vitamin D intake. Number 1. Children today spend hours in front of a computer or a television rather than playing outdoors. Few children walk to school on a regular basis. Number 3 Many popular sports such as basketball, volleyball and gymnastics are indoor sports. Number 3 Milk intake by children has steadily decreased in favor of a soda or juice. Children today spend a lot of time being indoors and inactive. It is well documented that fitness levels among children are on the decline and obesity levels are rising. Children should have at least 35 to 60 minutes of physical activity each day. Without it, they cannot build healthy bodies or healthy bones. In addition to affecting kids, fitness level, spending so much time on indoors has affected the amount of vitamin D their bodies make. Our skin makes vitamin D when we spend time in the sun. It is very important to protect our skin by using sunscreen when we are outdoors and parents should apply sunscreen to their children 
when they play outside. Sunscreen does, however, lock our skin's ability to make vitamin D. How much vitamin D do we need? Vitamin D is measured in units called International Units or IUs. According to Institute of Medicine, Food and Nutrition Board and the National Institutions of Health, Office of Dietary Supplements, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin D among children is 400 IU per day children aged 0 to 12 months, 600 IU per day for children aged 1 to 18 years. These are amounts that seem to prevent crickets, not the amounts that will result in the healthiest bones. As a result, these are regarded as the minimum recorded daily amounts of vitamin D for children. Recent research support that children over age 5, adolescents and adults need at least 1000 IU per day for good health, depending on age, weight and growth. Indeed, many people need much more than 1000 IU to keep their vitamin D level in good range. What are food sources of vitamin D? Not many food naturally contain vitamin D. It is found in substantial levels only in certain fish. Farm rainbow trout contains 645 IU per 3 ounce serving and 3 ounces of soki salmon contain 570 IU. Some food have vitamin D added to them. Fortification, for example, milk is fortified, but an 8 ounce glass of 2% cow's milk provides only 120 IU of vitamin D, while fortified soy, almond, and oat milk provide 100 to 144 IU per cup. Some other food like breakfast cereal are fortified but at very low levels, around 80 IU. Eggs can have small amount of vitamin D if the chicken was fed the vitamin. The only other food with significant amount of vitamin D is raw white mushrooms that have been exposed to UV light. One by two cup contain 366 IU. Can we overdo vitamin D? Our skin cannot make too much vitamin D. It stops when there is enough in the blood. But it is possible to overdose on vitamin D supplements. Because too much vitamin D can be harmful, doses greater than 2000 IU per day should be taken cautiously as advised by your doctor and based upon the result of blood tests. How do doctors test vitamin D levels? The best way to know a person's vitamin D status is to have a blood test which checks the level in the blood. It is important that the correct blood test is done. The 25-hydroxy vitamin D test shows the level in the blood from both diet and sunlight. When your doctor knows the exact level of vitamin D in your bloodstream, they can make a more accurate recommendation of how much vitamin D to take. A blood level less than 20 ng per milliliter can result in rickets and more than 150 ng per milliliter can be harmful. Most experts suggest that blood levels between 40 and 70 ng per milliliter would not only prevent rickets but result in good absorption of calcium for healthy bones. Thanks for watching.